Hey everybody, this is Sheets, and we're going to do an early look at the NHL slate for tonight. Um, the process being, uh, we're going to take a look at the good plays, see what rates to be good plays. Then we're going to see what type of slate it is with respect to hand building. Uh, see if it's the type of slate that we could build, um, just using off the projections. And this is the, what I do literally every day that I decide I want to play hockey, is to kind of see what it might look like. Then I'm going to run a, uh, an early Saber Sim build, both using the, um, the contest Sims and just the straight Saber score to see what those two things look like. And the other thing I, I think I'm going to try to do today, I'm going to try to build an ownership projection. Uh, for those of you that follow me on Twitter, you'll see I do post uh, industry projections and how close they are uh, with respect to ownership sometimes. And caused a little bit of a stir today, just basically calling out the, the industry for just basically terrible NFL projections as far as ownership goes um, recently. And the idea is that if your ownership projections are going to be off, then all this contest sim stuff is going to suffer because you're presuming that the field is going to play a certain way. And if you're going to build lineups based on that presumption, uh, and your presumption is off, then everything's kind of kind of off kilter. So we're going to try to build, uh, and I've, I've done this before, but we're going to try to do this live. We're going to try to build ownership projections uh, ourselves using the various tools at our disposal. We'll, we'll take, a, take a look and see what it looks like. But anyway, we'll, we'll get to that in a minute. But first, let's take a look at the slate. Uh, again, the first thing is let's take a look at the team totals. You have the Rangers 3.8, Florida 3.9, Boston 3.9. And those are the teams that are probably going to rate the, the best. Rangers, Florida. Now, you'll see this could be kind of a cool little game stack because they both are over 3.5, Florida and Ottawa. We'll take a look at that. Um, Colorado and Tampa could fit the bill for something like that as well. And the other thing I'll just notice is that uh, Boston has like a one-and-a-half goal advantage over Columbus. I don't know how that's going to actually help us, but something to note, I guess. Uh, let's take a look now at the uh, the sheets that we create, where we just rate these guys based on projections, uh, point per dollar, value score, ownership. And we also put the lines in, in columns K and L. And what we'd like to do, again, at this early juncture is just take a – take an overall visual and see, and again, this seem, might seem like, you know, explaining to a five-year-old how to play DFS, but for DFS hockey, you want guys on the same team that are on the same line um, because they correlate very, very well together. So what I'd like to do is just kind of just quickly glance and see what I notice um, based on these rankings. The first thing I'm going to notice is that, well, you got three Ottawa guys that look pretty good, right? Kachuk, Stedzel and Batherson, are they all on the first line? Well, they're on the first power play line, which is really good. So that's the first thing. Um, Pasternak's the number one overall play, but he's really expensive and no one else here rates pretty well. Ovechkin and Tom Wilson. All right, that's something. So Ovechkin, Tom Wilson, and Carlson are all – first line and first power play line. So that's seems to be a priority stack. See McKinnon, very expensive. Ranton, very expensive. And McCarr, very expensive. Boy, if you can get to all three of them, great. But I don't know if there's going to be enough value to let you do that. Um, what else can I derive from this? Um, it looks to be it. You know, you don't see any real standout values overall. I guess Sam Bennett at, on Florida is a pretty good play. And you could pair him with Kachuk. Maybe. And let's throw these Ranger guys, I suppose. Uh, Kreider, Panarin, Zibanejad. All right, so this is good. So you have three Ranger guys that are in the top 20 as well. So. It's not completely obvious, which is good. It means I don't think anybody's going to be particularly high-owned. 
So overall, I guess, if I were going to hand build, I would try to do something with Ottawa, try to do something with the Rangers. Um, what was the other team I looked at? Florida? Yeah, so Florida, Rangers, and Ottawa. Those would be the teams I would kind of mess around with. And Swayman looks like the best goalie, but I'd like to try to find cheaper goalies. It doesn't look like they're showing up here right now. I don't even have all the goalies projected, which is a little annoying. Okay, so we'll have to do a little bit better. But you do see Devon Levy at a flat 7K, which is very interesting. So as I recall, they're playing the Rangers, who we said looks pretty good, and they have a high team total. So you imagine that Levy is going to be facing a lot of shots, and that's really what you want in GPPs, is goalies facing a lot of shots. And if the Rangers are going to look good and be popular, then then Levy is going to look to be look to be a pretty good bit of leverage at low ownership, excuse me, at low price, um, which will allow you maybe to get up to some of the higher priced uh, stacks. So um, that's something to note. And the other thing to note before we go ahead and just build is our stack view here. So what we do is we rank the top five from each team based on either raw points over here on the left, value, which is just points per dollar here in the middle, and then modified stack, which is basically sheets value score over here on the right. So you do see the Colorado rates to be the top dog in both raw and modified. Same with and Boston second, and there's Ottawa and Florida. But it's good to see Ottawa, Florida, Washington, these three teams showing up as pretty good plays. And then with value, as almost usual, San Jose is the top point per dollar play. And they usually are. I mean, they're very, very cheap. And they smashed pretty hard the other day. We almost won the whole thing yesterday, the other day. With some well-placed uh, San Jose guys. So, again, it's going to look like Ottawa, Florida, maybe fade the Rangers so that we could play that, that cheap goalie. And that's something we could just try to mess around with just to see, just to see what it looks like. So let's pull up the uh, lineup builder and let's just, just pile them in. So let's start with that goalie. Still, he's not even confirmed to play, but in either case, you're going to have a 7k goalie. So that's awesome. So we won't play the Rangers. Let's, let's just stack these Florida guys. This is pretty easy, right? We'll just hope this whole game just freaking goes ballistic. Let's see if we can get them all in. So let's pull up the uh, just the, the individual rankings first before we have to go to the stacks. So let's say, who's it? Kachuk, Stetzel, and Batherson. So let's start with that one. Um, Stetzel, Kachuk, Batherson. Actually, let's put Stencil up over here. I mean, I don't know if we can get all this stuff in, but let's just put let's put a couple of Florida guys in first. And that was Bennett, which was important to make the rest of it work. The other Kachuk. And then who was the other one? The defenseman? So it looks like we can't get this perfect. Let's just see. Uh, let's see. Uh, Kachuk. Bennett. That, that was it. Was that it? Yes, yeah, so just those two, which is fine. What the, is there another Ottawa guy we can get in here? Batherson. Okay, so Sanderson, we can play him. Barkov's getting too expensive. So what if we played Sanderson? and see if we can't make the rest of it work. So we have to play 3,100 a man. Um, I don't know if we can do that. It would certainly have to involve probably some San Jose guys, but this is, so this isn't bad. Doesn't get exactly what I want, but let's see what, what, what the $3,100 guys look like. Brokers. 
I mean, you got a DeBrusque at 3900 That seems awfully cheap. The $3,500 McMichael over here, he looks pretty cheap. Let's get greedy. Let, let's see what – um. let's sort these by point per dollar, and let's just see if we can't find someone from our teams um, somewhere. Kachuk we already have. Batherson we already have. Bennett we already have. So what we're probably going to be doing is going back to these cheapos from San Jose. They just make so much work. You play something like Grandlands, which worked really well for us last time. But it's kind of a one-off for Grandland. And then you just got to find a $3,200 defense, which shouldn't be too easy, too difficult. So this is not 100% perfect because it's not a four, but it's not a four three or anything like that. But what we could do is just stick with Ottawa, right? You know what? Get rid of Florida. Now it's easy. So now what we could do is we could finish the fifth part of the Ottawa stack, uh, the power play stack, whoever that is. Let's take a look and see. That would be so it would be Josh Norris, it looks like. At center. So we got five Ottawa's and then we could play these cheapos from uh, from San Jose if we want. But we might not even have to. Like you could probably still even play. We can't play Bennett, but you could, right? You can go play Bennett, who was a good one on the other side, and then we could just play some of those San Jose guys, like um, Better Zetterland and and uh, who's it? Eka. Any forty-four hundred dollar defenseman is going to work, or we could get again. We could play uh, back over here, not back one. Um, what's his name? What's his name I'm looking for. Not back one. It's called uh, Grandman. So, and then fifty-nine hundred. I mean, whatever, whatever you want. You don't even have to play Levy if you want to play this. So. I do think that it's going to be something like this. Some type of Ottawa or Florida with the San Jose cheapos kind of filtering, filtering it out or filling it out. I think that makes a lot of sense. Um, can't really fill this whole thing out for you guys, but give me an idea of what is out there. Play like Carlson. I don't like to pay up for those defensemen like that. Ooh, you could play. Okay, so this is what you could do. You could play Montour. Yeah, here, here's where it all kind of comes into play. So here's Montour. And then if you don't you play Montour alongside of uh Bennett. For example. Now you got a four two, a five two, and then you just need a, a any old wing at thirty four hundred, and you don't even have to play the San Jose cheapo. Although I wonder if any of these guys look good. Let's just take a look at just reg a thirty one hundred dollar wing, just like a random thirty one hundred dollar wing. Let's see if we can find we'll find one. Gramlin, not quite, almost. Yeah, you can play this guy if you want. Or, oh, there it is, Duclair from San Jose. So, again, we're not actually going to play this, but just to show you the process, this is how we came up with it. We have identified our teams, found the right stacks, make good plays. Oops. Oh, I already, I already played that. Oops. Let's save that in the lineup just so that we have it. Oh, yeah, I don't want it to cost more to play that. Where was I? Um, Oh, okay, so let's put that in here. So just to remind ourselves what we did. One, two, three. Batherson. And then what was it? Um, goalie we knew, right? We put in. So 
Levy. And then Florida, it was Bennett and Montour, right? So but Ma Montour we put here. Bennett we put here. If not mistaken. And then the other Ottawa defenseman was Sanderson. That's right. And then the cheapo San Jose, which was just to, just to hold this. Okay, so we're gonna save all these. All right, so now let's pull up. Uh, let's do the next thing, and let's go into Saberson. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna upload all of our custom projections to Saberson and see what types of lineups we would get, looking in from different um, different views. Okay. So we uploaded everything in here and we'll build 50 lineups. We'll build a, well, we're going to build 5,000 lineups. And while that's happening, um, I want to set up the contest sim information. Now, you know, if we already uploaded these, it would already be in there, but. And again, we don't necessarily have to use the contest sims, but just so it's up there. Penalty kill, good. To kill. So these were all saved, I think. Okay. All right. So first thing I want to look at, and this is the results of the Saberson builds, is a whole bunch of Boston. Um, when you look through team stats, like 86% Boston, it's getting to this really, really easily. Um, so that's something to respect, you know. Uh, now it has some San Jose cheapos, as I mentioned, Washington and Ottawa. It didn't really get to Florida, though. Um, and the next thing I want to do is to see what that's based on. So, for example, what type of stack exposure do we get in? you'll see that it does have a lot of types of stats, which I really don't want to play. I really want to play only four, three, five, twos, and sixes. So the first thing I'd probably do is X out all these others. Um, let's, let's just do this to show you. And this saves your settings so that later on when you come back, you won't have to do it again, which is useful. Zeros, five zeros, go two, two, twos. Um, no four twos, no three, two, twos, three, twos. Okay. All right. So when we did that, I just want to see how that impacts the distribution. And it's still the same, still like a whole bunch of Boston, which is uh, which is interesting. So do I want to save these? Uh, yeah, let's um let's save these to the kick save so that we have them. Before I do that, again, one thing I like to do is 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 make my min uniques a little bit more. So min uniques maybe three. Uh, just to you know, just to be a little bit more circumspect with my with my stands. Um, so I guess this is fine. And what I'll do is I'll just save these for now. Just into the uh, the, the kick save. Want to keep that big buy-in as it was. So into the kick save, we'll just click put that in here. Boom. All right, so the next thing I want to do is I want to do a contest sim just to see what it looks like, you know, and, and here's and here is the problem, right? So the problem is, is that what it's well, the problem is is what's what's kind of cool about it is what 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 Saber Sim is doing right now and all the contest sim tools is it's running your set of 5,000 lineups against against a pool of lineups that 
Sabersim Fields represents what the field is going to do. Now, you could dive in to what that field looks like. Um, like, for example, let's, oh, so it's already done. So let's, um, Let's look at the contest sim settings for the uh, kick save, for example. We'll click through this. Uh, well, I think we can click through it. Let's see what that field is. Oh, so here, so field lineups. Field lineup goes like this. This is a little forward, we can play. Oh, we didn't run it yet. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll rate these by this just an ROI, and I want to see what the field of lineups look like. Um, I forgot how to do this now. Field lineups. Okay, Saber Sim lines. Can you click through this? No. I'd like to see what that field looks like that I'm comparing myself to. I just can't quite see it. Now, where am I? Where am I looking? This is really poor, but it's good because I have to, I have to um, see something. So where are these? Uh, where, where can I find these lineups? Uh, right click? No. It should be here, right? This should be the field of lineups. No. Pool? No, that's our pool. All right, Sheets, come on, don't be a boy, oh boy. Now, for those of you who have seen me do this a million times, you're like, okay, she's right there. Why can't you find it? I just want to see what the what the field of lineups is that we're comparing comparing ourselves to. Without going into the Saber Sim frequently asked questions. Contest sim settings. Here, here. Right click, no. Not payout structure. You go into contest, maybe? Oh, field lineups. Oh, it's champion. Okay. Uh, contest name. All right, so it's based on Saber Sim. Very nice. Let's see. Ah, there you go. All right. Oof. You have me somewhere. So the field of lineups... It looks like 30% owned this Tampa guy, center, which is interesting. And then as far as team stacks, so this is probably why you'd be getting all this Boston is because according to the, to the field of lineups we're comparing ourselves to, it's about 30% Washington. So that's uh, that's interesting. All right. So I can't believe it. I finally found it. All right. So it's in the contest tab somehow. All right. So that's fine. So this is what our contest sim adjusted lineup builds would look like, right? Um, so again, now assuming that it's getting all that Washington, now let's see what we'd be getting. Sorry. So now... It's actually not getting as much Boston because Boston was the second highest known. What it is getting is a bunch of Ottawa and Buffalo. So all that makes actually quite a bit of sense. Um, so you have to decide, you know, whether whether you believe that those that field lineups represent that field of lineups represents what the field is actually going to do, and you're in a sense relying on the Saber Sim ownership projections. So what am I going to do? For now, let's let let's go with that. Let's put these into the kick save. 
Save to contest, into kick save. Very nice. Not all contests have been filled. Yes, that's fine because I want to keep that big buy in the same. All right. So what I'm going to try to do is do, I guess, what Saberson was trying to do. I want to try to build my own ownership projections based on my point projections. So what, what I'm going to do is this. This is what I'm going to accomplish here. Let's go back and let's upload our projections. And this is what I want to do. I want to build as many lines as humanly possible. We'll build... We're going to build, well, 500. No, we can build 5,000 because it doesn't matter. We're going to only display the top five, 50. But am I going to put it on the sim setting? Like, do I want it to do the game sims or I want it to just optimize? Like, what what are people doing nowadays? Are they running save, more Saber Sim or are they running straight optimals? Let's use the optimizer but now it's only going to make me 50 lineups, which I don't want. So let, let's go back, we'll do use the Sims. And what we're gonna do is we are going to go, I guess we got, I guess what we're doing is just using the build that we made before, right? Because if what we did before is built our, remember, remember up, up here? We built the 5,000 lineups and we sorted it by Sabre score. And we got all the Boston. Remember that? Let's go back to where this was. Um, remember? So I think this represents our ownership projections, I guess, but that's only for 50 lineups. So what I think we really want to be looking at is the, the pool exposure. So the percentage of all lineups in the pool that contain this player. Okay, so this is what I'm interested in. So this is going to represent the new ownership projections because it's going to assume that, well, first of all, we we did we did the, the stack exposure thing and we presume that people are going to play the normal type of stacks. Let's actually get rid of this. Okay. Um, and then we go to players. We're just going to look at the entry, no, pool exposures. So let's download this. Let's just see if this saves somehow. Let's see what this does. We'll say pool. We'll be we'll a thing that says pool. No. Do, 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 do. Pool. And what I want to do is save this information. Can we save this? The percentage of all lineup that contains this player. And then we can sort this way. And we can manually go in and do this. But, but what I'd love to do is just download this look like this, this particular screen. Because if I did that, I would have a new set of ownership projections that I could, that I could enter. I wonder if we could do that. Um, player filters. This is gonna download player projections. That's not what I want. I wanna download this view that has the entry exposure. Because when I do this, it does not. I don't think. Wait, max exposure. Oh, yeah, wait a minute. What does this say? Saber team, Saber total. Is this it? Saber total? Is that what this is? 
let's take a look and see what we're looking for here. So try to search this way. So if Pasternak, if it's 19.6% in the pool, I mean, it's close to this, but not really. No, it's not quite getting there. But it is looks sort of close, like McKinnon, for example. Where, where's McKinnon? McKinnon. is only 11.9% 11, 11 of the pool. His ownership is close, but it's not exactly what I want to see. Um, so that's what I want to know. What I want to know is how to download the view that has the percentage of lineups in all your pool that contains these players. That's what I'd like to know. Uh, okay. Uh, that, <laughs> I guess that's all I have for you guys right now. Um, a lot of that was struggling. A lot of that was information. Hopefully you learned a little something from that and uh, that'll do it. Good luck, everybody.